Hey everyone, the first Juneteenth event here in Mesa is going very well tonight. Lots of people coming through here at Mesa Community College. The DJs are having a lot of fun. They're playing some throwbacks, I'd say, at this point. Songs from the early 2000s, uh, getting people going here earlier in the evening. So we've seen a lot of dancing, see a lot of people just hanging out, having fun, getting some good food and whatnot around here. There's so much happening, not just here in the main part of the campus, but also inside as well. So I wanna show you what it looks like in there because there are so many local businesses and black owned businesses showing off their paintings and jewelry, lots of talent inside this hallway here of the campus. People here tonight say celebrations like this one for Juneteenth. It's really been a long time coming. We spoke to Keisha McKinner, the president of the Mesa East Valley MLK Committee. She says this is a day that all Americans truly became free. Yes, we celebrate Independence Day in America, but for black Americans, that was not independent. We were slaves during that time. And even with the Emancipation Proclamation, it still took over two years for over 250,000 slaves to realize that they were free. And that was on June 19th. And that's why we celebrate this day when we were all free. This event, of course, to celebrate, have fun, but it's also educational for some people who maybe want to learn more about the history. So at the Planetarium here on campus, there's a show showcasing that history where people can learn more about Juneteenth. So again, like I was saying, there's a lot going on here. So this is what we're seeing here in front of the DJ stage. We're going to show you more about some of these local businesses and really some of the artwork that they're able to showcase here tonight. That part of the story coming up a little bit later in the show. The fun here tonight ending at 930. For now, reporting live in Mesa, I'm Michael Raimondi for Arizona's Family.